Hi Pisces, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card readings which run from Monday to Monday, July the 13th to July the 20th. I want to thank you again all my little mermen and mermaids that come in, that swim by me and come into this site. And I truly love you and thank you for your loyalty, for all the readings coming in, the testimonials, the subscribers that are coming in now to my channel. It amazes me every day that how blessed I truly am and it is you that I thank for that. We start our week with Monday, and we've been given an air card, my friend. There have been a lot of air cards coming out in these readings this week, and the air cards have to do with the little intellectual uh, parts of our lives that could be communications, the legal system, the justice system, and so on, that bring concerns and worries into our lives. This particular one tells me that on Monday, some of you are going to be uh, unwilling to make a decision. You've had a stalemate. This is, I've shown you this before, this is the locking of horns card. There they are with their horns locked. There's a decision to be made and neither one wants to waver one way or the other so one of you is going to have to break that and have to make this decision because you're sitting right now at a stalemate and you know a decision has to be made but neither one of you wants to do it perhaps it has to do with lawyers it has to do with situations like that in your life with contracts being signed and so on um, because uh, it's almost as though uh, that whoever it is one or both of you are thinking that you know what the problem will go away it doesn't exist but it does and you need to step up, break that uh, locking of horns and make that decision. On Tuesday, again, another air card. And this particular one is the seven of air. And it talks about these plans. Perhaps it has to do with the legal system. Perhaps you're dealing with that type of thing in your life right now. But it says these plans are going to have to be revised. And there's more going on than meets the eye. So you really need to check out, do your research, and find out what's going on behind the scenes before you make this uh, these plans. Because they refer to it, if you don't, as poor timing right now. And it won't work in your favor unless you do. This is the Six of Earth for Wednesday. And this is a great card because it speaks of some gifts coming into you, Pisces. And some of you may receive the gifts of money. Some of you may re receive the gifts of time. And others, you may receive the gift of effort. But know that this card is referring to gifts coming into you, Pisces. And some of you will actually be getting a, a new opportunity for a new career coming into you. So that's pretty good. Some of you are getting physical gifts. Uh, some of you are getting time and effort. Others, you're going to get an, the, an opportunity for a new job. And others, you're going to be paying off a loan that you have been uh, that you have in a debt. And others have applied for a loan uh, or, or money to be lent to them. And it, they're going to be getting it. They're getting accepted. The loan has been accepted. Now, uh, the Thursday, you've been given a fire card. And this particular fire card is the King of Fire. And it's all about a situation in your life uh, that you're communicating with, with vision and that you need to focus, focus, and focus on this situation in your life right now. Because like this King, it's saying that you have leader qualities. Uh, you're qualified to take on that role and be a leader, leadership qualities. And, but you're going to also be taking advice from someone who's creative right now. For some of you and perhaps he has the traits of this king and this king is motivational he's idealistic he's ambitious and he can be very charismatic so i'm sure for some of you pisces you know exactly who this individual is around you friday you've been given a night and this particular night is the night of air and again this has to do with like i said the legal the justice communications and all those little intellectual concerning things in our life this is saying that there's an event coming into you very very quickly at great speed something that perhaps you've been uh, been waiting for to happen and like this night um it's coming in very very fast uh, take time to carefully review your options, though, when this event occurs and it's coming in because it refers to it as, as um, the solutions will be creative when dealing with this event coming in. Saturday, you've been given a fire card. And again, this is the second one in your reading that you've had. And this is the seven of fire. And this is talking about you stepping out into your own dependence and, and <clears throat> accepting and, and exhibiting your own power, uh, defending your own beliefs and decisions and standing your ground, okay? Uh, you've ta basically, some of you have been putting up with something and now it's time for you to take a stand, okay? Uh, stop allowing uh, the energy to push you back. Um, but you need to choose your battles wisely when you do this. 
Sunday, my friend, is an Earth card, and this particular card is the Ten of Earth, and it's a very nice card because it talks about some of you having a very contented, peaceful, and happy family life right now, and also financial security is around some of you. So some of you may be lucky to have both, and some of you may only be lucky to have one or the other, but know that you're blessed to have a happy family life and financial security is a pretty good thing in today's uh, world. Um, and you're going to find the magic and the little things in life now because you are that content. Finally, at the end of the week, I am going to shuffle this for us. Okay, here we are. I'm shuffling um, for this one card for us this week. Well, there's our card. This is what my guides have given us divine guidance. So, um, Pisces, you've been dealing with a lot of things in your week uh, about decisions and locking horns and um, uh, poor timing if you don't find out uh, what's going on behind the scenes in your life. Some of you uh, are going to be paying off a debt or uh, receiving money uh, in the form of time, effort, and, uh, and money basically. So, divine guidance. Everything comes into us. I'll get to the point. Everything comes into us at the right time, okay? Divine guidance is around all of us, and all we have to do is ask for it. You know, it's, it's, it's in the form of prayer. It's in the form of, of chanting. It's in the form of our personal beliefs and following our intuition and our heart and knowing that there is one divine out there and what we project out into the universe, we're going to get bounced right back at us. So be careful what you ask for and how you treat the world and the environment because it's around you. And all you have to do is ask and you're going to receive, my friend. Believe and manifest divine guidance. Pretty nice way to end our week. I leave you again with another quote. And this quote has been absolutely fantastic for every one of these 12 uh, readings that I put out on the, <clears throat> on the channel. And it's tied in with all these concerns. And pretty much everybody this week has been dealing with the legal system and their jobs. And it's dealt around uh, those type of issues. Uh, there have been some romance cards, too, which are wonderful. But some weeks it's all romance. And some weeks it's all about our jobs. And some weeks it's all about the concerns in our life. This has mainly been about the concerns in our life in the legal system, communications, and our jobs. So I would say that this is a pretty good quote that came out for me. And I, again, pick them randomly. I have no idea what my guides are going to lay out on the table for me for your readings. I let them do what they do. Life is about balance. Be kind, but don't let people abuse you. Trust, but don't be deceived. Be content, but never stop improving yourself, my friend. Good lesson. Great quote. Again, I thank you for tuning in, and I hope this reading brought you some insight and some benefit to your week, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful, wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to my fish and my mermaids and my mermen. And I do have a website, as you know, uh, for some of you Pisces that want to return and for the new ones coming into me, swimming my way upstream or down, my website is www. Brenda Terrell, spelled T-A-R-O dot info. So that is W W dot Brenda Terrell info. I hope to see you soon for another private reading. And don't forget to leave me your testimonials after the videos to let me know how your week has been going and how it's been turning out. Because that's what keeps me coming out here every week faithfully for you. I thank you again. And I will see you again next week. And always know that I will continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friends.